Good morning, Palmer Ridge. I'm Natalie Wright. And I'm Samantha Tomich. Thanks for tuning into our show. Before we start, let's give a big congratulations to the cast and crew of The Oliver for putting on a great show. Also, remember that Thanksgiving break is only two weeks away. Let's stay focused and finish strong. Over the course of the year, our school needs to keep various things to keep up with maintenance facilities and classroom materials. Frank went and talked to our grant writers for learning more about the district grants. Not a lot of us understand exactly how much our district does for us. I'm over at the Central Admin Building to take a look at our grant writing process. Within the school district, our grant writers compose grants to the state government for big ticket items to save our students, staff, and taxpayers money that would otherwise be taken out of the district budget. Lewis Palmer School District is committed to being as proactive as we can to get money to help with our facilities, with our curriculum, with whatever we need uh, from outside entities and keeping that cost away from our kids and our taxpayers. Grants from the state are largely focused on maintenance and facilities. Our district has written to replace Luce Palmer High School's roof and Luce Palmer Middle School's roof, which were almost entirely funded by the state, saving our community and our schools millions of dollars. From Ridgeline, this is Frank Bookman. It's nice to know that our district puts up so much in place to keep our schools nice and safe. Natalie went to check out what the Palms team is doing with the remainder of their season. During assemblies and football games, you may have noticed Palms dancing. Palms have been performing at football games and assemblies. They have also been practicing for state. They have been working very hard. My favorite part about dancing is that like, once you get up on stage, like, it doesn't matter that everyone's looking at you. All that matters is that you're having a great time and like, you're just feeling it and you're just dancing your heart out. Thanks, Natalie, and thanks, Palms, for showing us your school spirit. Here's Sam with info about how to be smart in sports and avoid concussions. I'm here with Coach Loudon for more information about the protocol for concussions. So the protocol for students when they get concussions is they have to see Pam. Um, Pam will, before, before the season, she'll impact all the, all the student athletes. Um, if, they, if there's a chance of concussion, um, she'll impact them again. Um, and then go through kind of a come back to gameplay um, scenario. Um, a student also will have to be um, seen by a doctor and cleared by a doctor before they're allowed to start the protocol back to play. Once the protocol back to play has been assigned by the doctor, then Pam will walk them through the steps and go from there. 34% of student athletes have received a concussion. 20% have received more than one. Thanks, Sam. Let's all be careful in our sports and stay safe. As winter season starts, you always want to make sure you drive safe. Mitch went to check out Drive Safe Smart campaign and what their goals are. More than 3,000 teens die every year in car accidents, and with the winter season rolling around, it's important to always remember to stay safe. Drive Smart Colorado is an organization that helps student drivers across Colorado learn how to drive safer. Uh, it's really important that you uh, don't text and drive because if you text and drive you could get in an accident. And With snow already falling, be sure to take all the precautions you need to take to be the safest driver. For Ridgeline, I'm Mitch Anderson. Thanks Mitch. Let's all make sure we keep keeping our eyes on the road and driving safe. Now for the best part of our show, here's Bobby with the weather. Well, good morning, Palmer Ridge. Welcome back from the weekend. My name is Bobby Pascal. I'm your local, friendly, and always accurate Palmer Ridge weatherman. And not too many things are great about Monday mornings, except, of course, for these forecasts. So let's get started. Checking out the current surface map, we do see a cold front moving in over Colorado. By the time this airs on Monday, I predict that'll be right over our town. So what that means, Palmer Ridge, is this week, the temperatures are going to be cold. How cold, you may ask? Ice. Cold. Palmer Ridge. But similar to vanilla ice, it won't last too long. So let's check out the temperature map and see what happens. A high of 62 over Denver and clouds in the sky. The rest of our nation considerably cooling off moving in, into winter. And that means Palmer Ridge, these temperatures are a fish really cold. So cold I even had to go to the winter five day. We'll check that out now. A high of 60 over Monument today, but those clouds in the sky can make it feel a little bit cooler. Uh, when that sun disappears on Tuesday, our high lowers to 56. And then on Wednesday, that high of 45 should not feel too good. With a low of 18, it's snow in the sky. On Thursday, even, even though that high is 49, uh, that sun in the sky should make that feel considerably warmer. And then on Friday, we end off our week with a little bit of clouds in the sky, but nonetheless, that high of 49 feeling pretty frigid. 
Well, Palmer Ridge, that's all I got. My name's Bobby Pasco, and for more information on the weather, go outside. Back to the studio. Thanks, Bobby. I think we're all looking forward to some winter weather. That's our show for this week. Thanks, Palmer Ridge, and have a great day.